Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 93 of Lightroom Quick Tips. Recently, I did a video, and in that video, I removed noise using the detail panel in Lightroom, and somebody made a comment saying that I really was dumb the way I removed noise, and it obliterated all the detail, and that his way is much better, and he explained his way. And I am very familiar with the way he goes about removing noise because it is the way Scott Kelby removes noise. And Scott Kelby actively teaches this in his workshops on how to remove noise in certain parts of an image. That's the way Scott teaches it. And I never taught it because the only one I've ever seen talk about it is Scott Kelby. So I didn't think it was my place to step on Scott Kelby's toes and teach his method. But since the guy brought it up, I will show you it. And it's all credit to Scott Kelby. But I am going to do a little bit of a twist on this um, on a way that I think if you kind of use the Scott Kelby method but do it slightly different, that it may work out better for some images. Now, the way Scott Kelby talks about this method, it works best on images that don't have necessarily uniform noise all across the image like this image does. So this isn't a perfect image for this method, but it's a perfect image to demonstrate the method. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. Scott says, if you have a part of the image that has a little bit noise in it, and usually that's in the shadows. So let's say you have an image and it has a little dark area and there's a lot of noise in that dark area. This method does work great to remove noise in those parts of the image that have noise. And instead of using the detail panel, you totally ignore it. Just go to the brush. And we're going to reset the brush. We're going to double click on effect. And you go down here to where it says noise. Move your noise slider to the right. Now I'm going to move it just to a plus 100 so it's obvious what I'm doing. I'm going to get a huge brush. And I'm not going to be very careful brushing. Let's just assume in this image I want to avoid the bird. The bird's where I want detail and I want noise removed everywhere else. Well, you would just brush wherever the noise is. And you can see it really does a fantastic job removing noise. And I'm not going to be very careful around the bird there. But I'm just going to do this really very fast and sloppy so you just get an idea of the method. So you can see it, it really does a nice job. It kind of blurs that noise. So uh, in this case, it actually makes the image look better because it blurred that background a little more and makes the bird pop out that much more. And the way Scott mentions it and the way you should use it is you should do it on the parts of the image where it needs it. Mainly it's going to be an image that's going to have noise restricted to a smaller part of the image and then you would use this method and it works great. Now where this method tends to fall short is you're really just blurring the noise with the slider here. When you use the detail panel in Lightroom, you have a lot more uh, control and functionality, functionality involved in noise reduction. You have luminance noise reduction, which does the uh, same thing basically, but you also could bring detail back with the detail slider. You could add contrast to the areas where you took away noise that made it look flat. You could then remove color noise. This image does have some color noise, and it wasn't affected at all. And it would have been removed if I used the detail panel. That is where, in my opinion, I'll sh another method might work better than this method. This method, again, works great if you have noise to a smaller part of the image, and it's limited to that little area, and you want to just get rid of the noise. It's not an important part of the image. Another thing that you could do, in my opinion, is use the detail panel as you normally would to remove noise. Bring up noise reduction, get it, you know, nice, you know, bring up detail a little bit so we get some more detail back in the bird. Push up contrast a little if you want to get some more contrast. Now we had some color noise, so we're going to push the color slider up. So that did a nice job. Got rid of most of the noise, you know, so I did it really very quickly obviously you take your time and you could eliminate the noise completely of course when you do it that way and this is why this guy messaged not messaged me but he wrote a comment that I really destroyed the image by doing this well what you could do is if now the bird is too soft in this case the bird is too soft for you 
go to the brush, and instead of moving the noise slider, turn up sharpness and just brush on the part of the image that you want sharp. So you still remove the noise and you did it with the detail panel and in the detail panel you have a lot more technology at your at your call there to help eliminate the noise instead of just blurring the noise with the brush you could oops I slipped a little but you get the idea so this might be another method that works better in some instances so you should know all three methods in my opinion you should have as many arrows in your quiver as possible because some images will work best with one method whereas another image will work best with a different method so use the detail panel as you normally would that's one method don't worry about anything else it worked great you, you, you sharpened and used noise reduction and the image looks great if that doesn't seem to work real well you could try using the detail panel to remove noise and then use the brush to brush back in sharpness where you need it if that doesn't work as well in some images you may just want to ignore the detail panel and brush away the noise uh, with the with the brush so those are three different ways you could deal with noise and I think they all have a place depending on what you're dealing with so that's it for episode 93 again thanks to Scott Kelby for that tip with the brush thank you everyone that watches my videos I truly do appreciate it I'll talk to you guys soon